Welcome back, everyone, to another Spooky Saturday video. I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy October to you all. We have lots of spooky stories ahead and lots of chills to be had, so let's not waste any more time. Hold your loved ones tight, your flashlights tighter, as we prepare to be spooked. Picture this. You're sitting on the living room couch. You're all cozied up. Beside you is your brother. You're supposed to be babysitting. Or you're simply by yourself in your room, waiting for your parents to come home. You're a third way down your Spotify playlist, when suddenly... Then the heartbeat spikes. You cautiously make your way around the corner. Door now in sight? Now it's from the back door. Seeing nothing there, you turn, and you see it. A dark silhouette in the bay window of a freakishly tall man in black clothing. You want to scream, but the instinct to freeze stops you in your tracks. Then it backs up into the darkness, never to be seen again. This happens to a lot of people around the world. And tonight, you'll hear three Home Alone stories. However, one story is true, and the rest are fibs. Can you guess which one? Let's begin. Story 1 Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Lucy, and the experience I have for your audience shakes me to my core to this day. Even thinking back on this night, I have anxiety. This experience happened in 2020. It was just your ordinary day with my parents preparing to go do something work-related. They were going to be gone for the night, so they instructed me to babysit my brother Alex. He was three years old at the time. I went up to him and asked if he wanted to play a classic game of hide and seek. He began giggling and getting all excited as this was one of his favorite games to play. This is where things took a terrifying turn. As the sun slowly dipped behind the horizon making things pretty spooky, I selected my spot in the house to close my eyes and count to ten. As I counted, I heard his little footsteps walking to my parents' room. Figuring this would be an easy game, I finished counting and began sarcastically looking for him so he would hear me. As I turn the corner, I see Alex sitting on the floor laughing at a spot on the wall. Confused, I asked, what's there, bubby? He says in three words, who's that wall? Putting context clues together, I looked to where he was pointing and briefly saw a humanoid figure, a tan in color, abnormally clinging to the wall. My heart sank and I immediately without hesitation grabbed my brother and closed my mom's door behind me. Whatever that was stayed in that room and never showed its face since. But how it clung to the wall, staring at my little brother, that was not something I was expecting him to see that early on. That was a horrifying night. Story 2 Hello, paranormal poet. For privacy's sake, my name is John, and this intense encounter happened a while back. Growing up around my teenage years, I was always comfortable with being alone at home and holding down the fort. I enjoyed the quiet and the fact I could do what I wanted for a few hours, so being alone was not a big deal and my parents knew this. On this day, my parents had a close friend invite them both to a party. No kids allowed, so they told me the usual. Never open the door to anyone you don't know, stay in your room, and don't break anything, on purpose at least. She told me if I ever had an emergency, to call them on the landline phone. They took off, and I decided to spend some time on my computer just playing video games. Three hours had passed, and it began to get dark. I was just chilling in my room when suddenly, I heard a knock. It sounded like it was just outside. Curious, I grabbed my Louisville slugger and headed out to investigate the noise. That's when I saw the front porch lights turn on. Relieved, I went to the landline just to double check with them that they actually made it home. When my mom picked up, 
I asked her if she made it home, and if it was her that caused the light to go off. She said, I'm still here at the party. In a frantic tone, she tells me to go to my room and lock the door, only after closing the window blinds. I walk to the window, where you could see the driveway, and to my horror, my mom's car had not made it home. Seconds later, I heard a car peel away from the neighborhood street. Was someone actually there? I don't know, but I think the sight of the bat scared off the thief. Story 3 Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Sydney, for privacy's sake. And the Home Alone scenario I'm about to describe chills me to my core. It all started out like an ordinary day in my life. Then, I felt something in the room shift. Suddenly, I was feeling a strange feeling in my stomach. The energy of my house was just off, somehow. Words can't accurately explain it, just that it was instant and profound. Anyway, my parents let me know they were going to a funeral for a family friend earlier that morning, and that it was in their best interest to leave me here to hold down the fort. The idea of leaving me by myself wasn't new or terrifying. I'd done it before, and it was relaxing having the place to myself for a few hours. I assured them I would mainly be in my room talking to my online friends, and I promised them I would call should anything unusual arise. It was around midday, and my parents were still gone. Starting to get dark out, I decided to close the blinds and prepare some food for a movie. I was going to one of the living room windows, when all of a sudden, a sudden shadow in the trees dashed out of view. It looked like it was covered in fur. I was running all the different animals in my mind that could possibly be, but none were adding up. I opened my door and walked outside to understand what animal was in my yard. Looking out at the tree line, I decided to draw it out. If it was a coyote, I didn't want it tearing up my garden. I whistled loudly, and from the dark tree line, I heard someone whistle back. And my heart began pumping ten times harder. The chills I felt going down my spine almost paralyzed me, but the will to survive kicked in and I booked it back in, locking the door behind me. I retreated to my room, locked the door, and tried to get my composure back. A few minutes later, the front door opened and my parents walked in. What a relief to see and hear their voices again. I never told them what I heard that day. I just know that next time, I'm staying in my room the rest of the time. If you enjoyed this video and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.